What are you doing over there? What's that? You want to learn how to grow kiwis? Kiwi? No, I'm Greek, mate. here is a cold weather kiwi. Now I've only recently heard about this plant in the last sort of couple of years um, but from what I hear in the permaculture world and agroforestry it is basically a substitute for tropical kiwi in a more temperate climate. Um, it can be very very vigorous and very very productive. Um, this one's actually called Antonica Asaya. Asai. I probably didn't pr pronounce that um, completely correct, as you may have noticed. But I have seen videos where people like Jeff Lawson have mentioned this plant, and I'd never, I'd never heard of it um, until quite recently. But one thing I, I have heard about it is it's very, very prolific, and when it does fruit. That can literally give you barrelfuls of fruit. Now, from what I hear, you do get male plants and female plants, and I've heard that the self non -surf, self fertile varieties, you need one male for every ten female plants. But um, I very luckily came across a few of these in the local garden centre. I bought one online before, um, and for the same price, I managed to find three in the local garden centre. And what I have just realised. Just looking at this plant, which I just couldn't believe, was it actually does have a little kiwi on it. I, I completely missed it. So there's your little kiwi. Now they're not like the normal hairy kiwi. Um, it's got that sort of fur over the fruit. They've got a more sort of apple type skin to the fruit. So you just eat the whole fruit. Um, they're a little bit larger than a grape. And a, a, you can freeze them. You can make chutneys and things like that. From what I've heard, it needs to get established really needs to get established for at least sort of three years before you get any large amounts of fruit but again you know anything that will climb up trees and, and give you a fruiting crop is is a good one for the for the temperate permaculture garden so um, definitely worth investing in one now what I've done is I've been a little bit cautious where I am and I've planted mine in a large pot in the ground now I've purchased a few more of these because I want to dot them around on the edge of the property um, where there's some old dead trees and I was hoping I could sort of grow them up that. But you know, this is definitely one to consider if you're starting a forest garden or perhaps you just got a trellis system at home and want to try something new. You know, and um, what I would say is, even though this is quite hardy, for the first few years give it a bit of protection. It's one of them things that for the first few years, it doesn't really want to be stressed too much. Now, it doesn't really need feeding as such. Um, it does like a free draining soil, a deep free draining soil. Um, don't want to do boggy soil with this. It likes free draining, sort of neutral pH. Um, but generally, it's not too fussy. Now, because it is so prolific, you may want to prune this because I've seen some that are established and they get they get huge and you know some of the bases on them are, are, like, are like so you know they're really really robust plants um, but especially if you are trying to create a self-sufficient situation and you've got space this could be a really really good one for you now I'm not going to plant this one right now today because the weather's been a bit funny recently and it's it's sort of high season at the minute and I don't really want to put any stress on it so I'm just keeping these in the little nursery I've got at the minute but um just try and pick a site that's not going to get boggy, dig the soil well. You know, this plant is going to be there for many years if you're going to plant this in the ground, producing you fruit. So try and get some good compost in there, try and work that hole and give it a good planting sump. And, and you know, just have in mind, this is going to get huge. And if you think about them things when planting these and have a plan for it, you shouldn't go far wrong. There's a picture of the fruit there. Really quite a beautiful looking thing. Um, it is deciduous, will shed its leaves in winter as well. Something for you to think about. So there you have it. Cold tolerant, cold weather kiwi. Bit of a novelty in the garden. Get out there 
and give it a go.